Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's soul channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is victory for someone, you know. For so many time or for so many years, you felt stuck. You felt stuck. But suddenly, the Lord is moving you. So in other words, God is unseating everything that was sitting on your movement. The only thing that can stop somebody or stop something from moving forward when he has a good tire, has everything, it is when there is an automatic error or there is traffic. Now, let me explain to you warfare when we talk about traffic. You see that way you see traffic on the road. You are like, ah. The road is blocked. Sometimes they will even tell you that the road is closed. So someone have to divide, turn around. If you drive, I don't drive yet. I know those that drive, they know how it feels. They will turn, they will go, and they will go, and they will go. Maybe where they were supposed to get to in five minutes, because the road was blocked, it would take like 30 minutes. Now, I'm explaining to you the physical aspect of traffic. You see the way it is. That is how satanic traffic is. When somebody is being blocked, the person is seeing where he or she is going. The person is imagining when the time he or she needs to arrive. But the road is blocked. There is no way out. No way out. And when there is no way out, what happens? You off the engine. You wind up. You lock the car or you park it. It is there. If there is no way to turn and revise, it is there until that situation is fixed. Hallelujah. Yes, these are something you need to understand because in warfare, when we talk about satanic roadblocks, these are the things we are talking about. Now, all hell will break loose. Do you know why? It is already breaking loose because they see that it is you are not just being upgraded, but... You are now moving. You are now moving. I prayed a prayer a few weeks ago, a few days ago, that you are not stuck. I think it was one of, in a, of our live session. And what the Lord was telling me in that session, like, people have been trying to move. They have done everything. You see people who want to change their financial status. They have invested their last couple. Their last couple, they put it into investment. Because they know that what you do is what God will bless. They understand that God does not love laziness. They are like, okay, what can I do now? Let me invest. Let me look for a job. They did all they could do. Everything within their human capacity. But yet, nothing happens. And the enemy want them to feel as if they are stuck. And the Lord said, no, they are not stuck. So this message is still coming again. This is not a live session now. This is just a short message. And the Lord said, you are getting to that place. That place where they felt you were stuck. That almost become your place. That almost become your lifestyle. That almost become your home. You are relocating from that place. Hallelujah. Before their very own eyes, they will see that God has moved you. To the place where he wanted to be. When I mean move, I'm not saying you are parking and leaving your house. If it is that, if it is, if it is in that area as well that you were being stuck, yes, God will still relocate you and move you to your own home. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. God is able. God is able, and that God is that is able is upgrading your life. Hell will break loose because when they sit on somebody's destiny. And suddenly they are being unseated. You will see them going mad, trying to capture that person again. But hear me, child of God, as long as you stay on the life on the Lord's side, the enemy will not be able to capture your life again. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. <clears throat> I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again.
bye bye